So, hello. Who are you? Oh, I forgot. Perhaps some subtitles will be good. Lul. I never told you of the others. You hear them too, right? They've been around ever since the tragedy. That's not quite true. Some are old. Some are new. But they've changed. I think the darkness changed them, just like it changed her. I don't feel there is like green, a green filter or something. Jesus Christ. They're the fucking voices. They're watching. Stop. Can you feel them watching? They're watching her. They're watching her. You're so close to the darkness. Go back. Can you feel it? What is she thinking? I can tell you. She's afraid. Wouldn't you be? <coughs> it would be nice if you could, like, at least uh, play with the uh, subtitles.
stronger, towering over her. You might try and ignore it, turn away. It's always there, just out of sight, where you're most vulnerable. Music. Pedro, 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 Pedro. It's like it knows that just enough light is all you need to see its suffocating power. You might think she's brave to go on this journey on her own. But it isn't bravery that drives her. Bravery only means something to those afraid of death. Then it was fear runs far, far deeper. Go. Oh, I'm gonna non kill it. It's much for fun, man. Appreciate it. Much appreciated. What is she looking at? What is she leaving behind? I know what she's thinking. I hear her thoughts. I'm gonna go fucking see are you enjoying it? No I know the game is short, but it's but it's a a nice know. journey like through the mental struggles oh, of a character. Has. There's no going back. You can't do and now pushes away a world kind of crazy. inspired to cause so much suffering. North Pagan. Oh really? There's nothing to go back to. And worse to look forward to. Yes, yeah, like Celtic, right? Why don't you join? Pretty, us? She looks like Celtic. Maybe you Pretty two sure. have a part to play in this story. I mean, when when, when was this game released? Two thousand seventeen, right? To be honest. Two really thousand seventeen, and then. And the graphics look pretty fucking good. Do not forget my story, Senua. Because your darkness comes from hell. And your fate lies there. They say the burning of a corpse will take like if, you straight if it's from 2017 the and the graphics look like this, like this shit is amazing. Will follow this path. You must leave the Isles of Orkney across the Eastern Sea. And find a room yeah, ru rooms, right? And darn. Yeah, these are ruins, but like the symbols, the runes. After nine nights of riding, bridge should they call runes? Great river, and will find a bridge covered in gold. Can like of one of the rings that I have, which has like engraved runes. The river of knives that flows from the dark world of Niflheim. Norse mythology is actually pretty good, even though like I'm more of a sucker for Greek mythology. Norse mythology is actually pretty good. Because your darkness comes from hell, and your fate lies there. They say the burning of a corpse will take you straight to Hell's Gate, but gods and the living will follow this path. You must leave the Isles of Orkney across the Eastern Sea and find a road that leads north and down through deep, dark valleys. After nine nights of riding, you will follow a great river and will find a bridge covered in gold. The path to hell is 
Jesus Christ, man, I'm getting about the Norris Pagan. What is Norris Pagan? I was going to say Chip Norris, but I'm pretty sure that's not uh, the thing. But about Thor, I kind of think it's funny. People think Thor is always the most funny fight like all times. Yeah, like I do. I do feel that like the the most realistic representation of Thor is actually the one that you see in God of War Ragnarok. <coughs> I won't call him fat. I will call him bulky, though. Like a strong man, you know. Do think Vikings did great, but no, they actually farmed the little great. Yeah, like that. That keeps sustenance of their people, so... Pretty sure they wouldn't spend like all their time just reading people. It makes sense if you have a society and the only thing you do is just attack other people. She's crazy. I'm just playing now Hellblade because I kind of want to prepare myself for uh, for the newest one. Which is going to come out in 10 days, I think. I already played Valhalla. I already played Valhalla a lot, so... I haven't played the newest Assassin's Creed though. I do feel that it's kind of mushy. I haven't played the newest one. It doesn't kind of push me like the other ones. Yes, I know they 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 kind of brought like a new like a, a lot of the older stuff. Man, these graphics are insane. There are a lot of the older stuff, but there isn't... Um, I don't know, like I saw some story, I saw like a little bit of the story and it literally doesn't kind of catch me. Does it catch me a lot like Odyssey? Like I love, like, I loved Odyssey. I, I loved Odyssey. Uh, Valhalla, like, I enjoyed it. I didn't love as much as Odyssey. I'd actually feel that <coughs> I'd actually feel that Xbox should actually invest more in these types of games. Like, like they should invest in they should invest in Rise Sun uh, Sun of Rome again. They should create a Rise Two Sun of Rome, and they should like they should invest in these types of games. Like they have Ninja Theory, and they are ex and they are excellent in doing these types of stories. They are insane in doing these types of games. So this should be like the bread and butter. Short games with a lot of story impact. I didn't take I didn't take like old Assassin's Creed way. I don't know I don't know man, like I feel that like <clears throat> Assassin's Creed like a like once they kinda branched out into that RPG formula, which was good, like it started with Origins, it kind of matured with Odyssey, and then it, I think, in my opinion, climaxed in uh, Vikings. But Origins and Odyssey were actually so fucking good in terms of uh, refreshments to, this, to the, um, the entire formula. And they were great games, and great story games. I do actually feel that Odyssey is actually good. It's really good because of the, uh, of the expansion. 
of the Atlantis expansion. Like that's where the the juice is at. I'm pr I'm pretty sure FSR in this game just looks fucking ass. What is ultra quality in FSR? No shit, no, it's looking actually really good. It was looking like fucking ass. But if it looks like with my PC, I don't need to play with FSR though. Maybe because of ray tracing, but I don't know. Let's see. If you kept the orange fighting mechanics, I could see they put the RPG mechanics in, just bring all the movement system, just killed it. I don't like. The biggest issue with um, with Assassin's Creed, like this is mainly my opinion, I think the main issue with the game was that they were releasing like yearly episodes of the game. Like they were releasing Assassin's Creed like it was FIFA. And that literally just killed the vibe of the game. My personal opinion, I think the game, I think the game vibe was just literally, like literally died. And like with Origins, especially with Origins, that changed a lot. Because after that it was literally just like from two from two to two years they were releasing a new game. And you could see that like the two years, like the extra year that uh, they had to develop stuff and all that, that was actually pretty insane. It actually helped them a lot in terms of quality, bug controls and all that, like reduce, right, reducing your bugs. And you can see the difference between um, uh, the the last one before Origins was Unity, and Unity was actually and Unity was so fucking bad it was actually funny. I should to get the main storyline to main character before kill him off because when the power goes back in time, stop the Templars. I I don't know. I do feel that like the entire after the um, after Revelations and pretty much like even in Assassin's Creed Three. I think the entire modern plot was is actual was actually just fucking dog shit. Like, I don't know, man. They kind of screwed the ball a little... They kind of screwed the ball a little bit. The world of men they call Midgard. Sky gods dwell in Asgard. The gods of Earth, Earth the world okay. sea, dwell in Vanaheim. The good elves dwell in Alfheim. Uh, the evil ones... I do feel that, like, the modern toolkit is actually... Like, it is actually better in terms of... Giving access to more uh, actions. I don't understand what you're saying, but that comes with the evolution of the game by itself. If the game doesn't evolve, like people will not play it, and they have to do some pretty weird uh, decisions in terms of um, gameplay. Because, like, the main reason, and, and, and I think that, like, most people, especially gamers, like, don't, can't kind of grasp the situation. Uh, like, I played the first Assassin's Creed game when it was released, and it was actually, like, and it was revolutionary. The main issue is that, like, <laughs> the people that play the first Assassin's Creed game, especially at the age that I, that I played the first Assassin's Creed game, uh, people tend to get older, and, like, there are there is there are way too many different games nowadays there is way too 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 much variety now and assassin's creed if assassin's creed didn't evolve like it would be uh, pretty much just left out it's truth i feel that like people like are against that oh my favorite video game i had to do this 
new thing and it eroded its soul. Man, it's business. This isn't ju- this isn't a hobby now. This is business. And if people don't take chances with businesses, they get thrown out. It's the it is what it is. I must feel the create assassin's screen is so like roots and master assassin's screen it's scenes and clips. I don't know, like I feel that assassin like Assassin's Creed 2, which is literally like the best series. Even for me, Black Flag. Like for me it's Black Flag and the uh and the and the trilogy of uh of Edge Auditory. Even if they remastered the game the games they would have to add like gameplay mechanics. They did that with the with the remastering of three, and it actually and it actually went really good. I do feel that like the remastering of Assassin's Creed Three was actually insane. True. But see, like the the um. What the fuck? The um, the spin-offs should just be supplemental material and things where they just kind of um, test new waters. They did test a lot of things with Rogue. Uh, same, same, same thing as Black Flag. Even the expansion of Assassin's Creed 3, like, they tested a lot of new things that were transported to other games afterwards. Um, but yeah, like, they have to, like, they have to actually they have to destroy new new things. Otherwise, if they didn't test new things, like they didn't spice up the formula a little bit, eh, I'm pretty sure that like the series would be dead. And Ubisoft, like sometimes it's just pretty fucking dog shit. But I'm pretty sure that like many of my future will seem new games. I think they're going to release like more more new games. The issue with that space is that like it's it's at its EA. And I th- I've read that they can the uh, remaster of the second one because of the poor sales of the rem- of the first remaster. Again, it's a business. If the games don't sell, they won't invest. It is what it is at the end of the day. Uh, but that space had actually a very big issue, again, which was the mo- to modernize the game by itself, which is that space three and the inclusion of co-op, which is was actually a very big mistake in my opinion. That space one, amazing storyline, amazing atmosphere. That space two, for me, it's actually is even better in terms of atmosphere. I really love the entire again Isaac's. <laughs> trip down to madness and especially like the like there is one part in that space too for me which is insa- insane which is the um the nursery room where you go there like he, isaac hears, hears hears kids crying and all that and then the the necromorphs the, the the baby necromorphs appear man that shit was chef's kiss that was a really good in terms of spookiness, like thriller stuff, that was good. That space two is actually for me. It's actually is even better than one. And then you go to that space three, and it's literally just an arcade shooter. That space three is pretty much an arcade shooter. And yeah, people didn't enjoy that shit. Remake has missing. Yeah, yeah, it's missing some scenes because they kind of invested more in the. Um, like, I, it's not missing. They trimmed a lot of scenes. Not a lot. They trimmed some scenes. So, because otherwise it would be a remaster. It would not be a remake. Like, the difference between a remake and a remaster is that a remaster is just graphics and some gameplay mechanics. Remaster, it changes things. <coughs> That's why people enjoy the new Final Fantasy VII re- re- remasters. Uh... I do have to put a real question mark, especially on the on the newest one, because I played it and I didn't enjoy the way the story was going. Can't I go there? Um, 
Like, I don't know, man. Like, it's cooked. Like, it's cooked. <laughs> He's laughing. Oh, what the? Who the fuck is Why laughing? She shouldn't have done it. She can't go back now. <laughs> no, this is it. The hidden path. The fuck? Bruh. I was gonna fucking go schizo by the voices. Don't kill me. I'm not one of them. I was just hiding. I find I live longer that way. I'm just hiding. I do feel I do feel that Capcom is actually like one of the best companies in terms of remasters. Like they remaster things that are actually like they the remasters are actually really good, and the uh, RE engine is actually one of the best engines for remasters. I mean, they do that because either the old actors don't want to come in, so hey man, it is what it is. Oh, they're dead. In the rest of the old case, I have no idea what happened to the OG actors. Tell me your stories again, old friend. I'm listening. The runes seal the gates to hell. Focus your inner eye, and you too will see what's hidden in plain sight. I need to find the room now. Does this work? The gate is open. Go through the gate. Go through it. It's dangerous. Follow it. What's behind the gate? Where will it take you? It's not safe. It's open. Oh, sorry. The gate is open. Go through the gate. Go through it. It's dangerous. Follow it. Oh, it's pressy. Where will it take you? It's not safe. work. I'll discover stuff by myself, unless, and if I don't, I'll ask the chat, man. Backseating is bad, you know. It kind of takes the vibe out of the game. I know you did. You listened when everyone else laughed. My people paid the heavy price. And this rain is actually pretty good. And together we will make the Northmen feel our fury. I'm pretty sure the voices are real, man. It is what it is. <laughs> 